Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm so excited to do, it's going to be a new Will I Buy It? This is my series I post every single Wednesday where I chat with you over all the new makeup releases. I talk about what has my interest, what I don't find very interesting. I'll link my playlist down below and the community playlist that I started so any creator who does this style of video can add theirs. We have a lot to get through this week. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. Welcome, welcome to another week of new makeup releases. So I am filming this on Tuesday, which is what I tried to do. And I feel like we have a lot. I feel like I usually say that in my intro, but I feel like we actually have a lot to get through this week. Mm -hmm. One caveat to say before we jump into the new releases. So I recently bought four skin tints from Ulta Beauty. If you follow me on TikTok, which is by Samantha March, or Instagram, specifically my Instagram Reels, which is March Beauty Word, I've been sharing about the, the skin tints that I bought, but I, I walked into an Ulta Beauty thinking I was gonna buy one or two. I came out with four, and that's in addition to the Urban Decay and the Fenty Beauty that I bought recently from Sephora. So I am testing, I am testing, thank you so much, I am testing them all out. I'm not really loving the one that I have on today. I'm not gonna lie. I Today I have on the one from Florence and Mills and I'm just not, I'm not really feeling how my skin is looking right now. I'm not really feeling it, but I will have like uh, my first impression on both TikTok and IG Reels going up. I will have a video going up on Friday um, where I'm going to be trying one of the skin tints. I'm not sure if it'll be the Milani or the L'Oreal, but I'll be trying one of them in the video and also doing a Q&A about my move to Vegas. So I've had some questions come in from my YouTube members, so that video will be going up, but then I am planning to review all of the skin tints that I have bought recently because I've bought a few. But I just wanted to preface saying that I don't really love how my face makeup looks. And like I was trying to like help it with some of my like products that I feel like work really well, but I don't know. I don't know that this is, and I'm sad because it's the first product that I bought from the brand, but I'm just not loving it. So I'm gonna scoot over so I can add in some photos. What shall we chat about first? You know, I, I feel like I got quite a few tags on the new collection from Pat McGrath, my girl Pat McGrath, we know. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about that first. I will link any Instagram accounts I'm reading from down below. Right now I'm starting off with Trend Mood 1. So this is the new Divine Blush Collection by Pat McGrath. The collection includes nine silky divine blushes. I'm try I can't tell if she's saying the blushes are limited edition or this next group of products is limited edition, but there's a luxe uh, eyeshadow quad, a highlighter, new matte trans lipstick, uh, looks like two new shades, a gloss, and a Permagel Ultra lip pencil. Right now I see coming soon, end of May. The blushes do look so beautiful. I don't see a price on anything right now, so I'm kind of terrified. Like what? How much are these blushes going to cost? I love all of the different shades of blush. I'm really not a blush fanatic. Like I'm a bronzer fanatic, like we know. I'm a bronzer fanatic. Not often as much a blush fanatic, but those two look really pretty. I would probably get a blush. I feel like out of everything, I'd probably grab a blush. I don't have a Pat McGrath blush. So it just makes sense to grab one. <clears throat> okay. Moving on, let's see. I feel like there was another blush. Yes, here we go. I've been seeing a lot of interesting things about this. The Daycation Whipped Cream Blush by Bite Beauty. Clean, long-wearing, creamy blush. It's supposed to give you a natural-looking finish with a luminous glow. These are going to be $32 each, available May 4th, so they should be available now. I'll have anything linked down below. I think it was Christy, Robbie to Christy, that started, that came out and said they looked like, um... You know, I'm like, what can I say on my channel to not get demonetized? I'm not sure. But I'm sure you've probably seen, or now you can probably guess what Chrissy said they look like. She just had a baby boy. Maybe that'll help you out. But now I can't unsee it either. I saw Kathleen, Light po Kathleen Light's post on Instagram stories and was like, I can't unsee it. And I'm like, now I can't either. Great. So, poor Bite Beauty. <laughs> I feel like they should have known though. I feel like if one person can come up with it, Someone sitting in on those like marketing production meetings should have come up with it too. 
Um, okay, so these, so we have four different blushes. <sighs> that Melon Mojito, I don't know why. Even Coconut Rum, mmm. Again, do I need these? I just purchased so many cheap products in my latest Sephora haul, so many. Do I need these? No. Will I buy one? I could. Like I could. Off to a great start, great start. Okay, from Fenty Beauty, we have the Bright Fix Eye Brightener. Under Eye Brightener to Hydrate, Brighten, and Conceals. These are going to be $25 each in 16 shades and available on May 7th. Okay, I'll say when I first saw the packaging, I didn't immediately get excited. I mean, I like the sounds of an under eye brightener, that's for sure. I just, I'm not sure. I feel like the packaging is what holds me back the most. I don't think I'm gonna grab this one. I don't think I'm gonna grab it right away. Unless I decide to just make a Sephora order and throw the bite blush in there and then all of a sudden the Fenty will be in my cart. I'm gonna try not to though. I would rather see some reviews on it first, I think. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm going with. Huda Beauty is coming out with the Glow Obsessions Highlighter Palettes. Pocket-sized face palettes, mini versions of the original highlight palettes, but with a glitzy modern twist. So each one you have four different shades to blush, low light, highlight. Uh, all I see right now is coming soon. Okay, so I'm not super interested in these. Um, what do they remind me of? They remind me of something, maybe like, um, is that the Anastasia Glow Kits? I don't know if that's what it reminds me of. Let me just look in the comments. Okay, just everyone's talking about the packaging and how her face is on it. Hate the packaging. Hate the pack. Okay. Sometimes the trend mood comments, I like really can't handle them. Like, I feel like everyone's just sad over there. I don't understand what's going on. They remind me of something. I can't place what it is and it's going to bother me. La Rock? I don't know why this is bothering me. It reminds me though of like an old school style style of product, but I don't go for these a whole lot. I know that they're saying you could like blush with it too, but with all the shimmery shades, I just, I don't think I would reach into this very often. So I know that I can pass on that. Uh, speaking of something kind of similar maybe, um, Benefit Cosmetics is coming out with the new Hoola Glow Shimmer Powder Bronzer. Okay. So it combines Hula's cult favorite natural bronze shade with a super fine satin shimmer for a radiant sheen from a lit from within. I don't, why, this is limited edition. Why, why is this limited edition? Super fine shimmer, it's $30, will be, so it's available now. Why would this be limited edition? That don't make no sense. So it's, I don't, I'm not understanding. It's, first of all, it's one shade. So that's not gonna reach everybody. Okay, and then it's limited edition on top of that. Like. I'm just not sure I'm understanding. Uh, I'm gonna pass, I'm gonna pass on that. That one doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, let's move on. So I see a new collaboration and this is with I Heart Revolution and Disney The Little Mermaid. Did I already talk about this? I don't remember if I already talked, I feel like I talked about this, but then at the same time, I feel like I haven't talked about this, I don't know. I Heart Revolution, Revolution Beauty, Revolution, what up? I feel like they come out with a lot and sometimes I, Sometimes I get confused. But we have the Fairy Tale Eyeshadow Palette in Ariel, also the highlighter. Okay, it's all in Ariel, awesome. Heart highlighter, Fairy Tale Lip Topper available April 20th. So it's available now. I feel like maybe I talked about this. Um, I'm not interested though. I'm I'm not really interested in the brand. I mean I do like Little Mermaid and I have heard of Little Mermaid. I do know who that is. Thank you so much. Um but nothing about this. I mean I do I like the you know, like the little waves in the packaging. That's cute. I like that. I do like that. Say something nice, okay? Um, but I just don't think it would be for me. I feel like a lot of other things feel like they could be for me. So I would pass on that one. And then there's, an, I feel like I saw another collaboration also. A collab with Morphe and Coca-Cola. This is their round two collection. Did anyone get round one? I'm just asking. Just, that wasn't, I, I was just asking. Uh, we have a new palette for $22, a gloss set for $19. There's a volumizing mascara for $12, uh, or a five piece brush set and bag for $26 will be available May 11th. Mm, I'm just really not interested. And I do like Coke. I prefer Coke over Pepsi, 
but Dr. Pepper is the clear winner. I think we've had this conversation probably when the first Morphe and Goat collection came out. I'm gonna go ahead and assume because I remember saying that and I remember reading the comments of everyone's favorite sodas. So that was that was quite enjoyable for me. Um, so like it's cute, like the mascara, it's like, oh, that's kind of funny, you know? And like the glasses, it's like, oh, I don't know, that's cute, but like, not to like, I need this. I'm gonna pass over those. Um, Juvia's Place has some new releases. This is the bronzed collection. So we have an eyeshadow palette for 14 and also a bronzer for 18, glosses for 13, liquid lipstick is 10, and a lip liner is 10. Sir, I'm just talking about new makeup. The bronzer, the bronze duo bronzers looks to be like a great shade range. That's pretty great. I enjoy seeing this. I also love bronzers, so kind of caught my attention right away the palette you know not as much the lip products not as much either but the bronzers I'm like I do get some PR from Juvia's Place usually they have us fill out a form and I don't remember if I filled out the form for this one like just with like the moving craziness and everything I'm not sure I did that um if I get it I will be very excited to try it if not I could see myself grabbing a bronzer how many bronzers does one person need? Asking for a friend. The latest trend mood box. This did already sell out, but I usually talk about them anyways because I find these boxes to be really interesting. And I remember being excited and saying that I wanted to keep an eye on this one because it had a product from Dominique Cosmetics and it also had the Tatcha powder in there. That was before I, I did receive the Tatcha powder in PR. I just reviewed it in my latest Makeup Monthly, my ranking video um, for all the products that I've been trying out for the past month. So if you haven't seen it, I can put it in the cards. That's what I'll say about the one from Taja. Um, but so this was a $48 box. It included the Now or Never eyeshadow palette from Dominique Cosmetics, the Tatcha Silk Powder, the uh, Biosense Squalene and BHA Pore Minimizing Toner, and the Watermelon Glow AHA Pink Dream Body Cream from Glow Recipe. So I would have been interested in the Biosons product and also Dominique Cosmetics. Not so much Glow Recipe. Watermelon does not like my skin. And then, you know, I did end up receiving the Tatcha. So I, I don't think I would have ended up grabbing it, but I tend to get really curious about the Trend Mood boxes. The price has changed. It's not a subscription. You have to buy the box each time that it comes out. Um, and I kind of like that because, you know, I'm someone who like doesn't really like being, doesn't like being locked into things like that. Um, but yeah, I'll be curious if anyone got the box. KVD Beauty, we have the new Mod Con Liquid Gel Blush, a lightweight long wear liquid gel blush. Uh, these are $26 and will be available May 28th. So, I mean, I feel like KVD vegan beauty or whatever I, I can't remember what it's called now but I feel like they made a really good comeback with their new foundation I ended up I didn't try it I don't know sometimes I feel like when a product is so hyped up I get less and less interested like with each time I would see someone else just do one swipe of foundation on their face and proclaim it their new favorite foundation without blending it in and without wearing it for two minutes I just am like never mind <laughs> Like, it just makes me not want it. I feel like I'm the opposite of everybody. Like, when a product gets really hyped up, most people are like, I gotta go buy that, and it, like, sells out, and there's all this excitement. And I'm like, nah. <laughs> I don't know why that is. I'm very curious to see everyone's reactions to these blushes. Um, you know, they look nice. Like I said, like, I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm, you know, interested in the liquid and cream products. But for some reason, I feel like the Bite Beauty is calling to me more. I'm not really sure why. I don't know. If you would like to see me grab a new liquid blush, which brand would you prefer? Market research. Speaking of some liquid products, we have some new shades being added to the Color Fix Foils by Danessa Myricks. So this is a versatile hybrid cream color and you can wear it on lips, eyes, or face. Is that what I have? I feel like mine says, mine's something different. Mine is no, that's right, color, no, this is a color fix glaze that says color fix foils. So I have the color fix glaze. Again, I did review this in my last makeup monthly, so if you haven't caught it, some reviews in there. Um, but I, I mean, I like it, I, I, I like it. I won't make the face that I just made for Tatcha. Uh, do I need to add another shade and like the, the foil? I, 
I don't think I would need it right now, but there are new shades. So if you love that product, that could be something, you know, awesome for you. Uh, ColourPop is, this is kind of strange to me, but um, spring 2021 is bringing us new shades of Super Shock Shadows. That's cool. I mean, it's not strange to me. Like, I get it. I, it's just, it's not a very exciting release. Just because it's not exciting to me, it doesn't make it strange. Samantha, get it together. That, that was not, no. But, um, yeah, it's just not super exciting to me. I don't love the Super Shock Shadows. Every once in a while, I find one that I really do enjoy. But, um, I would pass over these. But, you know, they're coming to ColourPop. Uh, I see from Lisa Eldridge. She's going to be coming out with new products. And we have the Elevated Glow Highlighter, which is $38. And the Enlivening Blush for $34 will be available May 15th on the website. Okay. So both of these look to be liquid products. On trend, I see. I really like the packaging. It looks very, like, sleek. Looks very nice. I haven't tried anything from Lisa Eldridge. Like, I feel like I'm the last person to. Do I need... You know, a liquid highlight or another liquid blush? Probably not, but. Yeah, there's always a but in there. Did you just hear Aries? She just like snorted at me. She's like, really? Really? You get a bark box every month. Kind of interested in those, but I feel like I'm a little bit interested in a lot this week. Like I'm going to have to, you know, edit myself. Going to have to edit my shopping carts a little bit. A little, little bit. The Beauty Bakery is coming out with new lashes. This is really cute in this, um, any anything for cookies cookie jar with four pairs of reusable vegan eyelashes all i see right now is coming soon uh, that's kind of cute i kind of would really like some cookies so i still so I, i've recently moved and i'm like how long can i say i've recently moved and haven't gotten groceries yet before people are like you okay girl are you an adult because it still hasn't happened, but you know, I don't have, I didn't bring anything from my kitchen, okay? Besides my air fryer and uh, my Nespresso machine, because <laughs> I just bought it. So, I, but I don't have anything, cups, bowls, dishes, silverware, pots, pans, a baking sheet, a nut, like, you know how daunting it is to think about rebuying all of those things, like Tupperware, like, Things that you start to accumulate over the years and then you just have them. To have to go out and buy everything, I'm extremely overwhelmed just thinking about it. <laughs> uh, but also in a little bit of an emotional way, obviously. So I haven't bought groceries because I'm like, well, I don't have anything to put it in or to bake it in. But I have a Home Chef box coming on Friday, so I'm like, okay need to get it together so it's on my list of things to do today and i've really been ha where this is coming from is that i've really been having the urge to make either cookies or brownies cookies or brownies i feel like the first thing to make in my new place should be either cookies or brownies right it's just nice so do i need new lashes right now probably not but the packaging sure is very cute. I see that uh, Suba is coming out with their new Hydra FX Duos. These glow under UV light and they're $16 each. So I think these are like their like eyeliners. Um, I mean, the shades are really eye-catching. Like I'm sure there's going to be people that are so excited about this and the whole like glows under light. Like people who do like really creative, even like videos and photo editing would probably love this. I would probably never wear it though. So personally, it's gonna be, you know, a pass for me. I feel like this week was gonna be a longer week. Um, Christian Louboutin is adding the beauty line, adding to the beauty line with palettes for face and eyes. We have a luxury palette case, a La Palette case. That's nice. Inspired by Christian Louis Vuitton's clutch bag. The palettes are refillable clutches wearing the spikes that symbolize the designer. It also comes with a red sole key for refilling. So we have three face palettes with highlighters and blushes and three eyeshadow palettes with matte shimmer satin and metallic finishes will be available June 9th. I do not see the prices on these. I can only imagine what, no, I can't even imagine what they are, but I am sure they're going to be more expensive. The eyeshadow palettes nothing really like screams me the face palette i don't know kind of the same with the face palettes like you know i like to go in with thing go into things with an open mind but i just i don't feel like i would be adding any of this to my collection 
I just don't think so. Ulta Beauty, <laughs> okay, no, Good Molecules is now at Ulta Beauty. This was announced a while ago that Good Molecules was coming into Ulta, and then I thought, like, I was pretty sure there was a point in time where I was looking on the Ulta website and Good Molecules was there. And then I talked about it in some video and I mentioned how they were there and then I went to link it and they were not there. When I typed in Good Molecules on the Ulta website though, the list of products came up, but then when I clicked on it, it was like, sorry, I can't find it. And I was like, have I gone mad? And then someone commented and was like, no, 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 Good Molecules is at Beautylish, not Ulta Beauty. I was like, weren't they? Like, were they only there for a second? I don't know if something like got delayed or if something weird happened, but I swear to you, they were there. And then even when they weren't there, all of the products were showing up when you searched them. I don't know, it was very strange. But apparently they're there now. And I swear to you, if when I'm linking products in the description box, if they're not there again, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I really like Good Molecules, so I'm very excited that they're at Ulta Beauty. The Discoloration Correcting Serum, $12. I would definitely recommend that one. Um, also, their Squalene Oil, that one is maybe like $10. That one is really nice. Um, so yeah, it looks like their Instant Cleansing Balm, $15. That one is really good. I really like a lot of their products, uh, and they're more affordable skincare, so I love that they're at Ulta now, so great news. I see from Kiko Milano with their summer 2021 collection. They have a lot of products. Honestly, I don't even want to list these. Like I'm kind of like I'm already I'm like leaning on my desk. I'm like kind of tired looking at this list from Kiko Milano. It's a full thing with makeup and bronzers and blushes and uh, eyebrow products and mascaras and sleeping masks and body scrubs and all of the things. It says coming soon in May. So I have not tried this brand. Not a lot really calls to me from them. I think the packaging is very cute. I really do like the packaging. I think that's a lot of fun. I still am probably not, I can't see myself grabbing anything from the collection though. I don't know. I just feel like there's other products that I would want to try more than this one. So it's probably going to end up being a pass for me. I mean, there's some cute stuff, but also I feel like their shade ranges don't really ever do much. Like they come out with so many products, but you know, for the um, highlighter, there's three shades, the blush, three shades, like it's just, and those three shades tend to be like in the same family. So I don't know. I'm not super interested. I'll probably pass on that. Uh, I see that Zara Beauty News, Zara is coming out with a new makeup line, the rebirth of Zara Beauty. I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not familiar with the original birth of Zara Beauty, so it is what it is. But we have lip products, we have eye products, the prices range from $7.90 to $25.90 will be available May 12th on the website and in stores. Okay, so that's neat. Um, you know, looking at the photos. Um, I don't feel like anything immediately jumps out at me like, oh, and kind of like looking at the promo photos, it's a little bit more like colorful, you know, so not quite totally my vibe. Um, but I'm sure it'll be for some people, but for me, I wasn't like, oh yes, this is what I need right now. Uh, okay, and then this, I wanted to make sure that I chatted about it because I like, like, I completely missed this and I felt really bad about it when I went to the website and it was already sold out. I was like, how, like am I, I mean, in my defense, I have just moved and I am slowly trying to get back to normal life. But Annette's Makeup Corner has done a collaboration with Menagerie Cosmetics. That is so exciting. So huge congratulations to Annette. Uh, so this is the Serenity palette. So it did sell out and it was like by the time that I started seeing people talk about it, I think it was in my my Facebook group. Someone had said something and I was like, what are they talking about? And then I went and I was like, oh my gosh. And then I went to the website and it was already sold out. And I was like, excellent Samantha, you are always a step behind, aren't you? But there is supposed to be, I saw that Annette said um, that a restock is supposed to be coming. And I think the palette is so beautiful. Like the outer packaging, the, the shades inside, you know, it's more colorful if you know Annette's makeup corner. Like obviously this palette is so her. Um, and then you probably also would know that we have very different, you know, makeup looks that we tend to gear towards. But Annette is so sweet. I was able to meet her at an event in LA, what, two years? I mean, we've all lost a year, but you know, two. I think it was two years ago now, um, I was able to meet her and she's also in Vegas, so 
you know? Um, hopefully, I actually just got my first vaccine uh, the day before I'm filming this. Vaccines are happening and slowly we're gonna get back to seeing people on a more regular basis. So I'm just, uh, hopefully I'll be able to meet some more people if anyone wants to like hang out with me. It's fine if they don't. It's fine. If they, it's fine if they don't. You know, the other day I was driving Aries and I um, to a place called Dairy Queen. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of it. I was driving and I look over and I was like, oh, that looks like Miss Fuzzy Butters. And I was like, wait, that's Michelle. And I started waving like a mad woman. Michelle was just taking Miss Fuzzy Butters for a walk and I drove by them. That was a moment for me. That was really, really quite funny. Okay, all that to say, if anyone does want to hang out, I will be fully vaccinated soon, which is very exciting. But a huge congratulations to Annette because this is so exciting and a sellout. Like, how amazing. Huge congratulations to her. The palette looks so, so fun. I would love to know if you guys were able to pick that one up. And I just see uh, some new skincare to chat about. So Fenty Beauty is coming out with, no, Fenty Skin. So sorry. Fenty Skin is coming out with their Butter Dropped, Butter Drop whipped oil body cream thank you so much uh this is 39 dollars or the refill is 35 i'm like loving all the refill options happening um you know i'm all of a sudden very interested in body lotions i feel like i wasn't so much before i know i wasn't so much before but now i'm putting lotion on my body like every day i mean i live in the desert now and i just can feel like dryness happening and so pretty much every night at some point like sometimes it's right before bed other times it's like an hour or two but i like lotion up my whole body i tried fenty skin is it weird if the first thing i cried if i the first thing i tried was a body cream i don't know maybe uh naturum naturum is coming out with a new product the multi-peptide moisturizer uh, let's see. This is going to be $19. It has niacinamide, encapsulated, ethylated vitamin C, magnolia bark, bioactives to smooth and even your skin tone and texture. Uh, I don't feel like it's a product that I'm needing in my collection right now. And, um, when I said anything positive about the brand, I had a lot of people tell me not to do that because apparently they've been in some hot water. So I was like, I was like, I don't feel like it's something that I'm currently missing in my skincare routine, so probably don't need that. And then Origins is coming up with their Nourishing Avocado Lip Butter. This is going to be $18. Again, it sounds really nice, but again, not something I feel I need in my collection. Aries is now snoring, if you can hear her, so that's my cue to wrap things up pretty quickly here. Uh, I think the last one, though, was actually just a new skincare brand or just a new beauty brand new skincare brand. Um, this is Uncommon Beauty Clean Skincare by Kristen Cavallari. So we have the first launch, we'll have a foaming face wash, a water gel cream moisturizer, vitamin C eye cream, mango lip butter, and vitamin C pineapple nectar. Will be available May 13th on the website. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of new brands popping up. Uh, I, pro I, d I don't feel like I would be rushing to try anything from the brand. I do like, um, uh, uncommon jewelry what's it called the is it just called uncommon the Kristen Cavallari's jewelry line I do like it I've purchased quite a few pieces um from her line and I do like those I'm not really surprised to see her getting into other things I want to say doesn't she have other things her own jewelry line kids clothing line and I think she has some, like homeware stuff too I don't know she's done quite a bit um which is it's cool to see because you know i i watched like laguna beach and the hills for so long to like to see you know people from the show like going on to do cool things like that's pretty exciting i don't think i would absolutely need anything right away unless i was hearing really good reviews about it but pretty good on my skincare at the moment but that is a new brand that is coming this month but other than that i believe that is it for this week's video i feel like we have a lot to chat about definitely let me know what you are most interested in or if there's any products that you would be interested to see me uh chat about and review other than that though if you enjoyed this one please make sure to give it a thumbs up i hope you also consider subscribing before you go and i'll see you in my next video bye